But it's time to add a smart plug. Little easy step. This is an Emporia model. But they're all basically the same. They all have their own little apps. There's an app for everything. So you go into your uh, menu. Smart plugs. Add a device. I'll tell you that it's a... I'll ask you if it's a North America or wherever you are. I'll ask you if you want to go through the steps. We'll skip that. Go directly to setup. Next. It'll not work with 5 gigahertz. It has to go with 2.4 gigahertz. So make sure the Wi-Fi that you're using is a 2.4. Enter your password. Hit next. I'll tell you to push the button on this side, which is the power button, until the little light flashes quickly. So that's about five seconds. Three, four, five, bingo. See it flashing quickly. Confirm that it's flashing quickly. Connect to your Wi-Fi. This is a product that I've used uh, for the last six or seven years. Never had a problem with it. I could turn any device on and off from anywhere in the world. It'll track the usage. I could set up uh, scenarios where it'll come on at night, off peak hours, and shut off during high peak to save an electric bill. These are not sponsored, but uh, this is what I use, and I recommend them. We'll just sit here and wait for it to, to link up. Sometimes it won't link up, so you'll have to use the hotspot method. But I always go with the Wi-Fi first. We'll have the same outcome. Okay, didn't like that. So we'll go with the use the hotspot mode. Press that button to look. Flashes slowly this time. One, two, a three, a four, a five. And it's flashing slowly. You see that little blue light there? Okay. So we'll confirm that it's flashing slow. Connect to your Wi-Fi. It's going to take you to your settings so you can hook up to the Emporia outlet, which is the first one on top there. Bada bing. Let me go back to your app. And it's doing its little magic. La switcheroo. You only have to do this once, the initial setup. After that, you'll never have to touch it again. Okay, that failed also. Let's go try it one more time. Oh, I see though. I see the problemo, wrong password. Yeah, make sure you got the right password. It, make, it works a lot easier. All right. I love my job so much, I'll do it twice. There we go. Let's do it the right way this time. Hold it until it flashes quickly. Confirm. Connect to your Wi-Fi. Eventually, you're going to get uh, connected to the Emporia Energy Cloud. Spinning, 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 spinning. Come on. Okay. Finally got to where we want it. So we're going to name the smart plug. RV Electronic Bay Circulation Fan. 
Okay, can we see that? RV electronic, hit save. Updating to the latest smart plug firmware. After this, it'll do it automatically. You don't have to bother with it anymore. It's just the first setup, the initial setup that takes a little time. But after uh, it's up and running, it'll update itself as updates come down the line. Come on! I don't have much patience. Says that this will take no longer than three minutes. That was uh, 45 minutes ago. I might be exaggerating a little bit. And yes, I am talking to myself. Actually, I'm talking to you guys. You guys are listening, right? For those that haven't tuned out yet, well, thank you. After numerous tries, it finally got itself uh, organized. So I got the old done. Let's go. There it is. It's on right now. I can shut it off. And it's off. So let's go ahead and put it in the... Uh, the electronics bay, hook up the fan to it, and let it go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification icon for the latest videos as they are released. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one. Ciao for now.